Hello YouTube, my name is Phantom, and welcome to Mad Madness. This is the tournament that gives every team new life. If you haven't watched, here is the bracket thus far. The last game we had the Bills taking over, or beating the Patriots, and today we got the Jets and the Dolphins, so we're figuring out who the Bills will play in the next round. And the winner here will move on. The loser goes home. We're at a neutral stadium at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. So who do you think is going to win? Let us know in the comments below. Like the video and subscribe for more. Without further ado, here we go. Jets are going to kick it away to the Dolphins, so the Jets will have the ball to start the second half. And the Dolphins will run it out, just short of the 25, we'll mark them down at the 24-yard line. And the Dolphins offense is going to come to work. Here's Jay Cutler. Pretty rough last couple seasons he was retired briefly his past off season but he was picked up by the Dolphins the farthest he's made it was the AFC championship game in I think it was 2008 2009 not 2009 2008 or so 2007 and he hasn't really done much since so this is his chance to shine and before we get the first play, the Jets are going to jump off sides. So without snapping the ball, the Dolphins are going to have a free five yards. First and five to start. And this helps the Dolphins because they've had one of the worst offenses of this season. So, Dolphins will come out in a running formation. Cutler is under center. Cutler is going to fake the handoff. He's going to throw deep downfield. He's got a wide open man, but he overthrows it. Here is the Dolphins offense. Kenyon Drake, who is JHI's successor. Nobody really had any idea why Adam Gaze shipped off JHI to Philadelphia. But Kenyon Drake came in and lit it up, so kudos to him, I suppose. Three receivers for the Dolphins as Cutler takes the snap. He throws. He's got his first completion. First down and a yard or so more. That's Devontae Parker, I believe. And it is. So the Dolphins get the first first down of the game. And that's the hard part. Many offenses come out and they don't get the first down and that sort of creates a stagnant effect where they can't get a first down for the next several possessions, but the Dolphins get rid of that immediately. Hand it off to Kenyon Drake who's got a wide open hole and nearly a first down. Gain of nine. Second and one coming up. Just a simple halfback base and the blocking of the Dolphins did all the work. Alright, three receivers as Cutler gets ready to try and get something with the second and one, hands it to Drake. He plows forward just enough to pick, the, pick up the first down. So that's going to start with a new set of chains. 
The Dolphins have not yet had a third down as they approach midfield. Cutler is going to roll to his right. And he's got Landry who has the first down. Oh, they're going to say he was short. Stepped out of bounds too early. Second and inches coming up. And good job by Cutler. Not really forcing anything. Just taking the check downs. Just taking what's available. And Cutler's going to hand it off to Drake, who doesn't get there. He's going to lose a yard, actually. And that's going to bring up a third and two. This will be their first third down attempt of the game. See what the Dolphins can do on their first third down attempt of the game. Running formation for the Dolphins. Cutler fakes the handoff, throws, and nearly picked off. And looks like the Dolphins will punt here. And that was just a misfired throw, I think. No, he just wasn't open at all. Maybe if you hit that right, his uh, left shoulder on that throw, you might have a chance. But with that, that's nearly intercepted, and that's not a good way to end the first drive. But the bright side is the Dolphins do have a chance to pin them deep. We'll see if they can do that here with the punter. Hack kicks it. Out of bounds. Really good kick. It's better than a touchback. It's out at this 14 as the Jets send their QB out. Bryce Petty. And the Jets really have had just a rough quarterback situation over the past couple years. They've had quite the revolving door. They've had, what was it, a couple years ago, Ryan Fitzpatrick, who had a career year. And then... They got um, Josh McCown here this last year, and Fitzpatrick had a rough year at the year in between those two, so you never know what you're going to get with the Jets, with the QB. And Petty's going to hand it off to Bilal Powell, gain of two, and it's going to set up a second and eight. Here's the Jets' offensive line. Matt Forte, Bilal Powell, Robbie Anderson, and Jermaine Curse. The Jets have a better roster than they've had in years past, I must say. They did beat expectations when they won five games this year under Josh McCown. But with him still on IR. We have Bryce Petty out here trying to make it work. But I must remind you that every QB in Madden Madness has at least an 80 overall. So you shouldn't expect four or five picks out of Bryce Petty today. And we're going to have a third and 11. Or a third and nine, excuse me. First attempt of the game for the Jets. And four receivers for the Jets. Petty in the shotgun, surveys. He's sacked, down, taken down at the seven-yard line. And that's McCain. The Jets are going to punt out of their end zone.
Tried to get the throw off. He did have a wide open man, number 29, on the left side of the field, but just didn't have enough time to get that throw off. So the Jets are going to punt out of their own end zone. Edwards with the kick. Caught at 35 and marched up only two yards before he's gang tackled and brought down. Good field position for Miami. They'll be resuming almost exactly where they ended their last drive. And Cutler's going to come out and try and punch this one in the end zone or at least get a score. You just need about 35 yards or so to get to decent field goal range. Cutler's going to hand it off to Kenyon Drake, who goes nowhere. Spun down at 37, so they'll be right where they started. There's the Jets defensive players. No real household names. Cutler under center. Hands it off to Drake on the right side. Big hit, but no gain. It's going to be a third and ten, and they're still where they were on first and ten. This will be their second attempt of the game. And they're 0 for 1, trying to make it 1 for 2. They're going to break huddle, coming out in the balance formation. Cutler steps up, throws, hits Parker. Parker almost had the ball, but he gets walloped. And he had to drop it. Fourth and ten. And looks like the Miami Dolphins will punt. So, defensive stalemate here as the first quarter is going to come to an end. Hack kicks the ball away. And it's going to hit in the end zone for a touchback. And the Jets will come out once we get to the second quarter. But for now, the score is 0 0. End of first. Welcome to the second quarter. Score is still 0-0 as the Jets will get ready for their first play of the second quarter. And they're going to try and just get a first down. Held without a first down so far in this one. Granted, they've only had one drive. Bounce formation for the Jets. Petty's going to survey, throw it deep down the field, and he throws it out of bounds. I'm not sure if he was trying to throw that away or if he was trying to hit that receiver. I hope he was trying to throw it away. Petty throws, and he's too long. He had the man open, but too far on the throw. And we're going to have a third and long coming up. This will be the Jets' second third down of the game. And they are 0 for 1, trying to make it 1 for 2. 
Four receivers. One all alone on top of your screen. Petty surveys. And he's going to be pressured a little bit. Takes the check down. And his man doesn't make it. Number 29. Powell does not make it the first down and so the Jets are going to be three and out again so we're just kind of at a defensive stalemate here three and outs three three and outs in this game so far only two first downs Edwards with the punt boots away booming kick out to the 13 Grant's going to catch it run it up to about the 25 yard line Decent return, and that's where the Dolphins are going to come out and get to work, see if they can muster a drive. Colors under center. Three receivers. They're going to run it right with Drake. And he had a hole for a second, but that closed quickly as he goes nowhere. And we're going to have a second and ten coming up. And if you look at those offensive totals they're pretty horrendous <laughs> Drake gets three yards he's only 12 yards for seven rushes and it's gonna be a third and long for the Dolphins here as well this will be their third attempt trying to make it 33 percent right now they're sitting at zero 0 for 2 thus far Kenny Stills gonna line up wide Cutler surveys, dumps it off to Williams, who can't turn up field. He can't stop his momentum. He's going to run out of bounds, and that's going to cause a punt. And Gaze can't be happy. He had a chance at the first down if he would have been able to cut up field, but the momentum just caught him out of bounds. And yet another punt. Kicks away. Perfect bounce. And ball's blown dead at the two yard line. Perfect. That's the best punt in madness so far. By far. And we might see a safety safety before we see an offensive score as the Jets come out, trying to make some breathing room. Jets will come out in a running formation. Hand it off to Powell, who has his biggest run of the day so far. Gain of four out to the six yard line. Second and six coming up. And the Jets have four yards of offense in the air. Petty is going to hand it off to Powell, who gets a couple more out to the eight. He's averaging two yards a carry, third and four coming up. Jets trying to get their first first down and their first third down conversion. Jets are going to break huddle, less than 10 seconds to get this play playoff. He's going to be alone in the backfield. 
Petty. And falls bat it down at the line of scrimmage. Falls incomplete. And we're going to see another punt out of the, the end zone. And Petty is trying to keep his confidence up because right now we're in a defensive slugfest. Neither quarterback's getting anything done. Edwards punts it away. That's a pretty good kick out to the 30 where Grant brings it up. Brings it up to about the 37. And Cutler is going to come onto the field. And he's going to start. I believe this is exactly where he started on his last drive, but he couldn't get a first down, so had to punt it away. And with this kind of repeated field position, it's got to be frustrating to not be able to muster any offense. Bunch set to the left, Cutler under center. Cutler's going to hand it to Drake, who gets about two out to the 39-yard line. Second and seven coming up. Drake. Drake's got a first down. That's the biggest play of the game thus far. And we're at the two minute warning. 0-0, zero, zero, but Miami's driving. We'll be back. Alright, we're back. 0-0. Zero, zero. Miami's leading with the ball. Miami's leading in terms of field or uh, field position and yardage totals, I should be saying. And Fasano's got it. Short gain. They're going to hurry back to the line. Snaps away. Cutler. Time to survey. And he's sacked from the from the back. Martin. And they're going to hurry back to the line. Another third down conversion coming up. They haven't converted yet on third down in this one. They're going to let the clock run before they snap this ball. And they snap it with two seconds on the play clock. Cutler's going to throw it. He's got Landry. And Dolphins are going to take a timeout to preserve the clock. We'll be back. All right, still 0-0, but Dolphins have found themselves inside field goal range. Fifty-four seconds on the clock. Three receivers. Cutler. Throws, hits stills over the middle. And he's down, just short of the goal line. It's going to be second and two. Dolphins take a timeout. Go, go. 
And we'll see what the Dolphins can do here. Second and two coming up. They're at the 28. They're in decent field position. They can do whatever they want. They can run it. They can throw it. If they run or throw in bounds, they have to rush up and spike it, though. And they have to make sure they get this conversion if they want to spike it. Cutler hits Drake, and I don't know. It's going to be a first down. First down, Miami. And then the clock's going to run. Miami has one timeout left, so they can stop the clock once to get a field goal unit out there. And the clock's going to run, and we'll see if Miami is just going to let it run down. Now it looks like they're going to get another play in. Seven points might be huge in this game, judged by how scoring has gone so far. It hits Drake over the middle again, who falls down and pops back up, only to be knocked down for no extra gain. Second and four. Miami's going to take their final timeout. Todd Bowles, who wanted, he wanted to make it clear during the regular season that he was not trying to tank, as many people thought the Jets were trying to do. All right, field goal units out on the field to try and take the lead for the first time. First points of the game right here. More holds, kick is up, and it's good. Miami leads 3-0. And in a game as defensive as this one, we'll see if that field goal can change things. And with Petty, honestly, you should just take the knee. You don't want to force a turnover on the side of the field. Miami gets ready to kick it away. Kicks away. McGuire catches it at the goal line, and he's going to step up to the 26, just past the 25. Net gain of one on the run, and it shouldn't matter because the Jets will probably just take a knee and head into the lockers down 3-zip. out in the kneeling formation and that's going to do it for the first half Miami's going to lead this 3-0 and don't go anywhere because in Mad Madness there's no halftime show and Jets are going to get the ball first at the start of the second half And they're going to try and take the lead here. They have yet to get a first down. And we'll see if they can do something about that. Boots away. Catches on the goal line. Natson runs it out. And he's brought down right at the 25. So all that running, but he's going to be at the same spot where he'd be if he just took the knee. But the problem is, once you're on the goal line, you don't want to risk that knee being called in bounds. So it's a good thing to just run it out.
Jets only have five yards of offense here. Through the air. Well, I misread that stat. Bilal. Seven-yard gain. His biggest of the game so far. Second and three coming out. And that <laughs> throws the ball at the Dolphin. I wonder if they'll show it here. Probably not. No. That was funny. Honestly, that should have been a, a foul. Running formation for the Jets. Petty's going to hand it off left to Bowell. Or Powell. And it's only a gain of one. Third and two coming up. Jets have yet to convert on third down. But this is different. This is a third and short. This is their first third and short of the game. Three receivers bunched to the right. Petty's going to throw. He hits Anderson. Robbie Anderson gets the first first down, and Jets have finally broken through one. Just a simple slant route. Now Miami's in an uncomfortable spot, trying to defend their second first down of a drive. Jets are coming out in a strong right running formation. But Petty's going to throw. He hits Sterling. Decent gain. Four yards. Second and six coming up. They're out at the 44 of their own territory. And if they can just stay on schedule, it becomes a lot easier to get those third downs. Let's see if they can ju do just that. Three receivers. Powell's going to run it up. Gain of about three. Third and three coming up. And they're in third and short again, so good chance they can convert this. But the Dolphins will try and stop him. Petty hits Tomlinson. That's another first down. And Jets are starting to drive now. That's their second conversion on this drive. So maybe they figured something out here. Petty runs the Forte to the left. And it's a gain of five. Forte's facing his old teammate, N.J. Cutler. They were both on the Bears for a while. Here's a second and five coming up. Just under two and a half to play in the third. Petty under center, steps back, throws, hits Jermaine Curse. He hits the ex Seahawk for another first down. Gain of eight yards. And now I think their quarterback's in a rhythm. He's spreading the ball out, he's hitting his receivers, he's accurate. And now they're in field goal range. Strong right formation for the Jets. Petty's under center. He's going to hand it to Powell, who loses a yard. 
brought down behind the line. So now you got a second and 11 coming up. Petty's going to come in on center once again. Running formation, strong right. Powell's going to pound it up. Gain of two this time, third and three. Or so, sorry, third and nine coming up. This is their sixth third down attempt of the game. And in these shortened quarters, that's a lot of third down attempts. They might have the record for the most in a game so far, and they're only, and we're still in the third quarter. Clock's going to run. They don't have to snap this if they don't want to. And they don't want to. So that's it for the end of the third quarter. Defensive slugfest so far. Dolphins are up three zip, but Jets are in field goal range. Third and nine coming up at on the other side. And we're back. Dolphins are up. Three zip. Jets are in field goal range. Third and nine. We'll see how conservative they are with this play call. They're moving the ball for the first time all game long. But now they've hit a bit of a wall. We'll see if they try and force something. Petty's going to be under center once again. Get three linemen to the right. Petty, he had his man, but he throws it incomplete. Missed his target left. So it's going to be a fourth and nine. I expect to see the Jets bring out their field goal kicker. Hackenberg's going to hold, and the kick, it's no good. Jets miss the game-tying field goal. Miami still leads 3-zip, and they're going to get good field position out at the 38. No, it's going to be closer than that. Just wide left. Bowles can't believe it. And when points are at a premium like this, a missed field goal might cost them the game in this one. Their first scoring attempt, and it's incomplete. It is going to start at the 38. I'm right. I know my yardage. And here we go. Dolphins are going to break huddle. Three receivers. Three linemen to the left of Cutler, who's under center. Cutler is going to step back, and he hits Fasano, but Fasano drops the ball. Second and ten coming up. And if Miami can get a touchdown here, it can be a two-score game. And in a game like this, that'll be enough to do it, I think. But it's football. You never know. You never know in the sport. Cutler under center in a running formation. He's going to sprint back. He's going to throw deep. He's got Landry. First down. Gain of about 11. Oh, they're saying it's incomplete. He must have only had the one foot down. Dolphins are going to go for it for the fifth time on third down. Third and 10. Cutler. And no one in the vicinity. That should be intentional grounding. That's nice of the, the officials. Wow. So 
So, Cutler's going to get off the field, and they're going to punt. So, Dolphins don't have any third down conversions, but they have the lead. Jets have two, and they have, and they're behind. And it just barely kicks into the end zone. It's going to be a touchback. Jets are going to start at their own 20. Jets are going to break huddle. They're going to come out with a bunch set of receivers to the left, one to the right. Petty's in the shotgun. Petty throws toward the sideline. He's got Anderson. He's got a first down. That's their first first down on first down of the game. Chris Ball, Chris Catch. And the Jets are picking up right where they left off, it seems. Petty's in the shotgun here. Balance formation. Petty. Throws. Nearly intercepted. Howard just drove on that ball, and it hit his hands before hitting the receivers. He just dropped it. So second and ten coming up. Bunch set of receivers to the right. Petty's going to take the snap immediately, and he's going to hit his guy in the back with the ball. Incomplete. Jets are two for six right now. So 33% on the day. But two, those two makes that he did make were both on the last drive. So let's see what happens here. They're coming out in a running formation. But Petty's going to throw anyway. Petty's got Anderson wide open over the middle. Biggest gain of the game. Taking the ball all the way to the Dolphins, 40. And the Jets really needed that. Good throw, good catch. And the Dolphins were just too conservative with their zone. <laughs> you really can't play conservatively when you're only up three zip. Especially with five, under five and a half minutes left. Petty's on, just slightly better than 50% on his throwing percentage. And he's going to throw again for the 14th time. And it's incomplete. Second and 10 coming up. And I think they've gone away a little bit from the running game. Petty in the shotgun. Petty hits the ferry and Jenkins. And he's got a first down and more. Nearly 20 yards on the reception. His first pickup of the game. And the man coverage got a little bit confused there with the crossing route. Hits his tight end for the big the big pickup. So now they're in really makeable field position from really makeable field goal position. Coming out of running formation. And Petty's going to throw once again. Sails it out to Sterling. Excellent throw. Excellent, excellent throw. And now the Jets are in the red zone. See, he leads him in stride there. He's able to catch it on the run. 
which allows him to get an extra couple yards and enough for the first down. You would have liked to see him not go out of bounds there, though, as that stops the clock and gives Miami more time to answer. Petty's alone in the backfield for seemingly the first time tonight. And Petty <laughs> trips over his own guy and falls down. Man, that was reminiscent of the butt fumble. I said it was the butt sack. Petty's going to come up under center in a running formation. And now he's just going to hand it to Powell, who's got space. Powell, gain of nine. Third and four. He thought he was going to score there for a second, but does not. Jets are going to go for it here. They are two. Wait, no, they're three. Three for seven. Going, trying to be four for eight. Jets for the lead. Petty rolls to his left, throws on the run. He had it for a second. Robbie Anderson almost got that touchdown. Had it in his hands, but the ball jarred it loose. If he held on to that ball for just a quarter second longer, that'd be a touchdown. Instead, it's a field goal attempt. Hackenberg holds, and the field goal is good. Catanzaro hits his first field goal on two attempts. And the score is now tied. The first tie of the game since it was 0-0. So no touchdowns in this one. But you got a field goal battle on your hands. Let's see if Miami can get this next score. Kicks away. And Perry's just going to kneel it. Just going to bring it out to the 25, where Miami will start their drive. Now the Jets are really hoping they had that field goal made earlier in the game. Because now any score makes the Jets lose. Receiver on an island top of your screen. Cutler hands it off to Drake, and he's swallowed up. Loss of two. Second and 12 coming up, and that's not what you want to have happen on your first play of what could be the game winning drive. Number 80 just gave up on his double team there for some reason, and Kenyon Drake just ran right into the defender who was being blocked. They're going to hurry back to the line. They're going to try and snap this off. They will. Cutler's going to throw. Backs into his guy, but he's able to hit his man Landry for the first down right as the clock hits the two-minute warning. So, two-minute warning. Scores 3-3. Dolphins with the, potentially the last drive of the game. And we're back, 3-3. Three, three. Dolphins can win the game with this drive. But they have some yards to cover first. 
three receivers for Cutler. Nearly gets a defender to jump off sides. Throws left to Fasano, who catches it in bounds and just backs out. Out of bounds. Gain of only one, but the clock does stop. And these passing offenses have really been anemic. The Jets have gotten better as time goes on, though. And Miami hasn't done really anything in this one. Three receivers, and Cutler's going to take the snap under center. Cutler's going to sprint back. Survey, throw to his left once again. He hits Fasano for the second time in two throws. And third and six coming up for the Dolphins, who have not converted yet on third down. Let's see if they can do it here. Cutler. And he can't. Cutler sacked. Loss of 10. Fourth and 15. And Jets are likely to get the ball. Man, this has really been a strange game, though. Ha! <laughs> Hardly any offense at all. But some offense is going to need to happen sooner or later. And Jets are the best culprit to get that offense. And they're going to get the ball. Hat kicks it away. Angling towards the right side of the field. And that's an excellent punt. The ball bounces out at the four-yard line. So the, the Jets now have to be very careful to not give up a safety once again in this one. So Dolphins have to punt it away, and usually that means you're not going to win or you, you're playing for overtime, but Dolphins can play for the win still from the defensive side of the ball. And if I'm the Dolphins I'm bringing pressure I'm going for that safety and Petty's going to line up under center hands it to Powell who barrels through gains five so there's no safety there and the Jets are going to have some breathing room here to work with. Petty in the shotgun. Three receivers on the field. Petty. He's going to step up in the pocket, throw across his body. He hits Curse. Gain of 11, thrown across his body. That was a dangerous throw, but it works out for the Jets. And they're going to hurry back to the line. Petty. Oh, nearly intercepted. Hits the defender in the back of the head. lucky that the defender wasn't paying attention otherwise that would have easily been a pick so Petty he's gonna throw throws towards the sideline deep down the field he's got curse that's a gain of about 27 28 yard reception and curse has come alive late in this game Just a beautifully thrown ball, catch, and run out of bounds. And the Jets are in striking distance of getting in field goal range and sealing this win. But Dolphins shouldn't be without hope. One safety for the Dolphins. Petty's going to step back, 
Roll to his left, throw, and he's got a completion. Jets are going to take a timeout with 24 seconds left. And we're going to have a second and two from the 44 after this. All right, we're back. And Petty has a chance to make the comeback complete. They got to go just about 30 yards or so to give themselves a, themselves a really good chance. Oh, they're on the other side of the 50. <laughs> I had a brain fart there. Petty's going to come out in the shotgun. Petty, they're sending pressure, and Safarian Jenkins, he's going to get the touchdown. Jenkins. In a clutch situation with the game on the line, he steps up and he scores. And the Dolphins just sent everybody, and so when you send everybody, you have to leave the backfield open. And good play call by the offense. Good catch, good rack, game. And attack on the extra point. 18 seconds left, and Jets are up a touchdown. So Miami, after having that 3-0 lead for most of this game, is now down a touchdown. And they need a miracle of their own. Zaro is going to kick it away. Kicks away. Perry catches it in bounds. He's going to run it up. And he's knocked down at the 29 yard line. 14 seconds left on the clock. Miami with three timeouts. And they're going to have to get some yards quick. And they, just know, and they don't just need a field goal. Now they need a touchdown. And they're going to come out in the Hail Mary formation. Cutler. And he swings it downfield. Ball falls harmlessly to the turf. Second and ten coming up. Eight seconds left, so this could be the last play of the game. Another Hail Mary formation. And Cutler's going to get a free five yards. So this will make a throw easier. So the final play of the game will get an extra five yards, just like the first play of the game got an extra five yards. Well, I guess it's not technically... It's not entirely possible that or un entirely impossible that Miami doesn't score, but they're going to need one of the craziest plays you've ever seen. And they're going to come out in a Hail Mary formation to the other side of the field. And they're going to get another five yards. So they got a free 10 yards here, and now maybe Cutler can get the ball down to the end zone. We'll see.
All right, final play of the game. Hail Mary trips. Cutler nearly gets another one. Throws immediately and incomplete pass. Second and ten. One more play. And this is definitely the last play of the game. And he had a chance to pick that one off. Here comes the final play of the game. Cutler gets ready to throw, throws immediately, and almost picked off once again, but the ball falls down. Clock hits zeros, and that's game. Miami will fall to the Jets, and so let's take a look at the standings. So the Jets will move on, and that's the right bracket. So the Bills will be playing in the next round. That's our first, that's our third official matchup that has been decided. So we'll see you then. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit subscribe, hit like, and stay tuned. So for me, this is Phantom saying adios. Catch you in the next game.